good morning, everyone, uh, or afternoon or evening. Um, we are uh, meeting for our second uh, new member Q&A via Zoom for the month of September. And uh, welcome to everyone who's here right now, as well as those of you who are watching afterwards. I'm Betsy Coe, uh, and I, I've been doing uh, these sessions for about a year and a half now. Um, and uh, came out of my my own experience teaching uh, during the pandemic um, in my non wiki tree life. I am a music teacher, and um, like everyone else, we had to we had to teach online. So that's where I got more comfortable with the with the platform. I've been on wiki tree for five years, and um, my my own family background is is English and Canadian on my mother's side and Taiwanese on my father's side. Uh, so that's where I spend um, geographically, where I spend my time researching. Um, and uh, I, we were just talking before we started recording um, about um, migrating one's tree over from other platforms. Um, and so uh, we're, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Uh, in, in the context of a question later today, um, you know, I started like a lot of people. I started my tree on Ancestry and then migrated over um, from over to WikiTree. I thought about doing a GEDCOM, but um, it it didn't work out. And um, we do we do address questions about GEDCOMs often. And um, for me, apparently, I had too much media in my Ancestry tree, and so I ended up bringing over profile, going profile by profile, individual by per, person by person. And that actually turned out to be um, the best way for me to do it. I reviewed my research. I really got lots of practice at doing, making WikiTree profiles from scratch. And um, so I, uh, I, I am a fan oh. of that approach. Uh, yeah, now I have with me, I have Murray Maloney and Hillary Gadsby, who are my regular Sunday and also sometimes Thursday hosts. I'll let them introduce themselves. Uh, Murray, you wanna? Hi, I'm Murray Maloney. Uh, I'm a retired technical writer. I do some writing for some of the apps on Wikitree and I help out here with uh, Betsy's um, Q and A sessions because I have a little bit of expertise in a few areas around Wikitree. Um, and I always, um, share uh, links to the Wikitree browser extension and the Wikitree sourcer because these are two of the tools that everybody really needs to use uh, when they're working on Wikitree. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, that's in that's going in the comments, everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. And Hillary? Hi, I'm Hillary. I've been on Wikitree since 2011. Um, I'm one of those few people that, that actually uploaded quite a lot of um, stuff from Ancestry as a GEDCOM in the past. In fact, I'm still working through some of it. I've wor worked through all my open profiles. All of them have been updated with um, an app that's available as well, so, um, which is actually available through the WikiTree um, browser extension now. Um, but I was one of the beta testers of that when it was first introduced. So, um, and it was a, um, it was done so that it would um, work on some of those really early GEDCOMs that came in. And I'm also a project coordinator for um, both the England and Wales projects. And I'm one of the Wikitree greeters. So I tend to um, meet new people when they come in. And sometimes I will recommend that they come to some of these Zoom sessions if they want to learn a bit more. Um, but some of, some of them do, some don't. It's, um, it depends really if I think they might find it useful or not. So, uh, but um, it, it's, it, I, I'm surprised that we don't tell more people about the new, <laughs> new members things when, when they come in, because it would be, it would be useful for people um, if they've got questions down the line, so. Well, I think everybody has their own mediums for learning where they're most comfortable. And some people prefer a conversation or a video. Other people like to read and study, you know, technical description. So try and try and have options for everybody. 
-hmm. So, well, we uh, we chatted a little bit before we turned uh, started the video uh, in terms of questions. Um, we have one question about um, how to resolve a suggestion that came up for a profile and uh, also about what counts as unsourced for a profile, um, which is a very relevant topic considering we have a source-a-thon coming up in two weekends. And then um, the uh, question I already referred to about um, bringing your tree over and and uh, from um, from other platforms and using software. And, and um, so those are the three things we have uh, on the agenda in addition to anything else that pops up spur of the moment. So um, let's let's start with Doris's question about suggestions. Um, Doris, can you, I'm going to share my screen and could you tell us, well, how do we get to what, what you are, uh, what, where you had the suggestion? How do we get to the suggestion? <laughs> well, can you tell us the profile that that it's uh involving or or yeah, we could... it's um sellers four eight oh seven four eight oh seven sellers okay um so this is also a good demonstration of how how do you find find someone on WikiTree and since Doris has given me their their WikiTree ID I'm right on the home page here and I can just type that in. Four eight oh seven. Okay, does that look right, Robert Sellers? Yes. Okay, and so you said that the suggestion is nine six two. Um, nine six two and nine six seven. Okay. I don't. And and what what were the specific um in instructions on those? Can, can 962 says domain name in link not resolved. Okay. And arrow 967 says link error in domain. Huh. I've, I I'll have to be honest, I have not come across those. Um, Murray, Hillary, any ideas? <laughs> this sounds like um, connection to whatever the source, one of the sources that's yeah. um, not not connecting up properly. I don't know what sources it's got on there. Okay. Well, let, let's have a let's let's look a little deeper. Murray, you were saying something, but you were muted. Sorry, I'm just going to take a look inside the profile to see what I can find. Sure, sure. Okay, and um, just um, to to say, I have uh, I do I'm a big fan of the WikiTree browser extension, which Murray mentioned and put in the comments. Um, in the interest of um, any new, new members who may be um, watching, um, I have disabled my WikiTree browser extension just oh. so that you can see what it, something that's familiar to your, your own experience. Okay. And, and if, if Hillary or Murray shares their screen, you'll see, you'll see the alternate view. Okay, so. so it turns out that the problem is that um sorry that itd.nps.gov is just not a uh, findable server. Ah, uh, uh, this, this. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I wonder if this was connected to the problems that there, well, there was was with some ancestry things um not long ago. They were weren't creating the proper links. Um, it was. But then that that is quite a long time ago, but it was just it was just a thought. So what happens what happens if I and click the on ancestry that? record, yeah. Okay. I get that. So oh, that's probably look more at this regiment, maybe. And then if I click on this, yeah. Oh, oh. There you go. And okay. Can you so now, now, thank you, Murray. Yep. For that, for that. Um, now, how the question is, how do we fix it? So what if I went here and 
Where does it I wonder say? if I if I reran sorcerer on it? Yeah. Yeah. Um build a source I citation. Those, but I did need peanut sauce on them. I ate green cheese sauce on them. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. Um Doris, may I edit? Yes. Okay. So what I'm what I'm gonna do I don't think I put it on. I don't know. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> uh, before I before just so that we can do a side by side comparison, I'm just going to add. I'm not gonna delete anything. And wow, look, it's got the same. It's the same problem link, isn't it? Mm. Wow. So it's still causing that problem. It's still going to cause that problem. Is that something to do with the link in the ancestry? Um, I think there's a thing about finding more about the, about the regiment in the ancestry. Okay. Uh, All right. Um, let me um. Wow. Let me leave this. Well, I mean, I'll. I'll... You yeah. can probably get to it through the preview. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hmm. So go to the interesting record. What's I do too? Um, if it's that, learn more about this regiment. That looks like it's a link. Yeah. So I thought so too. Well, it's only your phone that it does. Um, can I ask? Uh, somebody has the radio on, or I we hear a conversation. Could they mute, please? Thank you. Um. Hmm. I, I have no idea where it's getting that link from. No, no, uh uh. I have no. another idea though. What if we did um that's I'll learn more about this regiment and that might be other other soldiers from the regiment, but mm -hmm. if we go here to source, see oh, there, there it is. There's, oh right there. Yeah. National Parks Service. Hmm. Original data. So if we did, yeah, Google it. Yep. Because if they acquired that in two thousand and seven, it could quite easily have changed, couldn't it? Yeah. It's a database. There it is. Okay. Much for soldiers. Oh, I love this. I mean, here, I, I had no idea that this site existed. Really? Me neither. Wow. But this is the, I bet this is what you need on it. The link at the top of the page is probably what you need in on that yeah. rather than the, what it's got at the moment. Yeah, go back and compare the um, web address, copy okay. the web address and paste it in and yeah. see what the difference is. It's a completely yeah. different address, isn't it? It is. Well, what? Yeah. Uh, so. What did IDT mean? Wait, I want to see. I want to see if we can find. Is this a, this is your ancestor, Doris? Yes. Okay. If we can okay. find him in that database. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, let's see. Oh, service Robert records. Sellers. Yeah. Oh, Peter Sellers. Yeah, Robert Sellers. Sorry. <laughs> That's yeah. what I thought. I, that popped into my mind too, and <laughs> oh, we're going to have to narrow this down. Nine hundred and twenty-nine thousand wow. five hundred and seventy-eight results. What state? Wow. Is that again? Uh, Indiana. Okay, Indiana. Filter your. Is that him? Well, Is that in and. North Carolina. I well. Huh. Let let me go back to what what Doris already has. Um, what did it say? Company A. So he was in the one hundred nineteenth regiment, Indiana Infantry. He was only there for six months. Yeah, yeah. 63, 1863 to four. 63 to four, company A, private. You know, here's a here's another another option. I see sure. that there's 
Oh, no. I'm sorry. Never mind. Oh, uh, that belongs to uh, family. Oh, no. no, it doesn't. That was my thought for a second, but this mm. is just film number roll 68. Okay. So this would, could give us confidence in looking for him. Hmm? Here, look. This uh, is right like here. How lucky would that be? Yeah. <laughs> Can I? That's him. Yep, that's him. Bingo. Company A, private, M540, roll 68. We just found him. Mm. And six months. This this would be a great source for you. Just, yeah. Absolutely. Um, How so would you... You, that, uh, you could put that link in, can't you? Keep the ancestry thing and put that link in where the what link that was broken... It was, and you and it'll take you straight to this record. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how would you put this in the profile? You put you put the whole um, address in it. Yeah, yeah well, I well, would. Yeah, yeah put it well, in square brackets and and exactly. just say what what and just shorten it or something. So you got you got it as a link. Right. So when you have um. Let's see let me put the, what what hillary is referring to is um so we've got use the square brackets um and then you put in whatever the link is which i'll refer to as url a space and then what it is could put it in his soldier details because that's right. what it says at the right. top of the page so this formula is really useful. The square brackets, you do the URL and then your description. It could be, you know, soldier details. It could be whatever you want it to be. So I, I can do that for you just so you see what that looks like. So I'm going to copy this link. Now I'll come back to Robert's profile. Edit. And it's we'll where the um, angle brackets are, isn't it, that we want to get rid of? Right. It's under the curly key. On my keyboard, it's the lowercase of that. Okay. Now, what should we call it, um, Doris? What would you like to call it? Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Six. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we could call it um, um, Sol soldier, soldier Details. Soldier Details. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'll come back here. Okay. And then if we look at a preview, we see that now we have a nice hyperlink. So anyone who clicks on that will go to the page that we just looked at okay yeah sure so um i'm gonna go is it okay to go ahead and save no no, no not yet yep. because you've still got the broken yep. you're the right link. you're right and so i think what you could do about that broken link is just remove the um the http colon part and so it'll 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 keep a record of the fact that the original was from that site but that site is no longer accessible. So instead of having the HTTP in front of it to make it a link, it'll just it'll just show the uh, you know the 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 URL, but it won't it won't be a link, and so uh, WikiTree Plus won't uh, have a problem with it. Okay, and the double slashes, right? So I would yes. delete. I would delete what I have highlighted. Yes, and also the angle brackets. Get rid of those too. Yeah. Okay. So just. That and the other angle bracket is yep. Yep. yeah. And okay. The... And now let's let's see what that does. Okay, right. So there's no more hyperlink. Um, yeah. And just just a note, Doris. Um, even though we fixed this, it will sh probably show up in your suggestions for
for at least another week because their suggestions only get refreshed once a week, I believe. Yeah. 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 I think he's probably already run it for this week, hasn't he? Earlier on today, probably. Mm -hmm. so I have a he, question for Murray. Did. Yeah. How did you find it? How did you find what the problem was? Well, I just I just looked at the sources and I looked at the URLs and I saw one that I didn't recognize. Um, you know, so I, I saw the family search one. That's fine. The the find a grave doesn't have a URL, so that's not the issue. So it's just um, a trial and error kind of thing. Yeah. And then I saw the www.itd.nps.gov and I thought, huh, I wonder whether that's it. So I went, I just opened up a new tab and I tried that URL and it didn't work. And there, there, Bob's your uncle. And, uh, and also uh, when uh, Betsy went all the way down to the very bottom of this, it had the, uh, it had the suggestions on there too. The, if you, if you go all the way down to the bottom, it, yeah, right there. There it yeah, yeah, those are the two errors. Right. So um, I've actually never okay, gotcha. never done the, the suggestions from the profile itself. And, um, and it doesn't so, really help you. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, so oh. it's interesting that it generated two suggestions, but it's the same profile. Um, so would I, Mur does it, Murray, Hillary, do you have experience doing All you need to do is you can put a comment in there if you want, or just press fixed and it will, um, it will catch up with it eventually and it won't okay. show up then. Okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. And now we will, uh, let's see, minor correction. Add it. Well, we added a source. Mm -hmm. you know, added, mm -hmm. added a source um, for military service. Okay. Well, that was that was fun and rewarding. Mm. <laughs> you should think all of you with you have Civil War things have found another website that you could use <laughs> exactly oh it's actually, yeah suggestions for yeah g2g that, that is nps.gov slash civil war huh. right that was oh that's a very good idea yeah here i'll, I'll go ahead national and park that. service isn't it so yeah. it'll be yeah it'll be all the national parks that you've got now because i've been to one of your national parks um, uh -huh. when i visited the states so the one near or oh, one in tennessee <laughs> you might want to send that url to um to rob pavey okay yep mm -hmm. uh, and i'm wondering if besides the civil war i wonder if they do all the other wars too because uh, it could be let's let's explore a little bit um yeah. I have family in other wars. Probably under collections. Yeah. Don't books. Uh, it might be on the main National Park Service um, page. Hmm. Hmm. Menu. Menu. Oh. Huh. Strange. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, the Civil War was very a very major military event, so it's great to have this for that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, huh, soldiers in database. Yeah, it just keeps taking me back. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna to have to play with this later. <laughs> Look up my uh my my Civil War veterans. Really? Yeah. Um yeah. great. All right. Well, um then let's talk about Sue's question. Um Sue was asking, what constitutes unsourced an unsourced profile? And sometimes there will be a very prominent template on the profile in a box that says 
this you know profile is unsourced and, and maybe it will link it to a geographical re region. A lot of times you'll see that on profiles where maybe the creator just said family trees or or uncle uncle bob said so or <laughs> so, something um on on that that we can't really substantiate um which is a problem you know with with um the old, older the farther back in time we get we understand um for active wiki tree members and their living relatives or a me recently deceased um, parent, uh, family members that, that certainly if you knew the person, that personal acquaintance and memory shared experience, all of that, you're a source. Um, but it's, it's also good to have real legit records such as censuses, um, birth, marriage, death, um, and, uh, we, we never, we always want, I feel with a source to take, be able to take another person back to the record that convinced us. So, um, Sue, you were mentioning a book. Someone just put a book. And the problem for me with that would be, um, then I might have to do an awful lot of work to find the book and the page and the, all of that. Um, Sue, do you, have a, do you have a profile that we could look at? Um, yeah, I put the profile in the chat. Oh, great. Okay. Let me look over there. Chats. Um, I see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Lovely. 1020. Okay. Nope, that's not it. No, I know. Oh, uh, okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the, the thing that bothers me is their whole tree is that book. Okay, yeah, and you do see that. Um, is this someone uh, in your, are you related to this person or? Yeah. Okay, All I right. did mention to them that Family Source had a lot of good free um, sources that you could find and put sort of real sources in. And yes. I never got any comment back. So I've been going through some of theirs and adding the sources from Family Search that I can. Yeah. But is, does this count for the source of that? No. Yeah. No. Well, Murray. Can you expand on your answer? What What are you saying exactly? Well, I mean, so you've got a book that mentions an, a, a person, right? And I might might say a few things about them, but you know that the, the same is true about Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne, right? There are lots of books that mention Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne, where they were born, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That that doesn't constitute a source. However, it turns out that um, Louis Lavallee um, has plenty of sources on. On um, on ancestry and on family search, right. so so this is this is a profile that you could designate as being unsourced for the purposes of our um, source source of song. Um, you can mark it as unsourced now, and then when October comes, you can then add sources, and and it would become a source profile. The sources exist. There are there are census records for that family. Right. So. What I would be curious, you know, if I really wanted to dig deeper, and you did mention that that uh, this book is sprinkled around the, the profiles of a, an entire family, um, yeah. would, would be to see, is the book available on some sort of free um, repository such as Internet Archive? So, and it is. So, oh. so I just, what I did was I just copied... Let me go back. Uh, I just copied this and Googled it. And I came up with something on inter Internet Archive. So here I am. And it says uh, it's the open library. So now I can read it. Um, and then let's see if we can um, do Control F 
to find your person of interest. So, love it. Well, we'll just try his name and see if that. Okay. Oh, it looks like. Okay. Find. Hopefully, there's a content sword index. <laughs> what? Hmm. Hmm. So, two L's. Yeah, there's two L's and don't use the word Louie. Really? Okay. I think the whole book is about him. Ah, look. There we okay. Go. Well, there's oh, there's his wife. Right? She's on there too, I think. Yeah. Yeah, she's um well you can click on hers from his profile. And yeah. her only says the uh, family without any pages. So if I went and found that book and stuck yeah. pages, that would be much better. But uh, this counts yes, as a source for the source of that. Well, it's it's not a um I'm assuming that this is this is a, a family a family genealogy written by somebody. Yeah, I've seen it. it, 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 it yeah. Looked it would not be good as the only source you because it's secondary but um, you you did mention that you found lots on family search and ancestry correct um i don't have ancestry but i i've found um like different ones and i've put some sources on from family search and mm -hmm. i've seen this book i actually looked at this book okay at one time but that was years ago. Yeah. And I don't know if I copied pages down either. <laughs> well, I mean. But, so, uh, okay, I'll rewatch this and find out how you got there again. Yeah. Please. And, um, well, let's see. How, how could I, how could I help with this? Um, I, I'll just put this, if you can copy this link in the chat uh, that I'm going to put in the chat then you can you can go to this link oh and real sources in oh the sorry book. this went to murray instead of everybody uh i'm sorry i missed that are there Anne, any sources in this book and wrote on there there's no sources in the book oh mm -hmm. so it, it it is sort of a contemporaneous writing about a subject right so the the it, it's i mean if we read the introduction we might discover that the person who wrote this book actually knew these people yeah right so if i mean if you're if if, if, if a person who knew somebody is reporting on something it is a, you know, a secondary source it's not a primary source okay they're talking back hundred a couple hundred years so they don't really know those people this is stuff that you know, if it was written in 1929, they may have known, known some people. And here's one that was born in 1833. And the person who is putting it on the tree is 20s or 30s right now. <laughs> Hence, whether there's any source material in the book written at the back or on the pages to say where they got that information from in the first yeah, place. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. If you keep going, mm -hmm. you keep paging. Now, is there any sources for those? I think these are just mentions of the of the name because I did a search. Oh, okay. Lavalier. It's it's picking up, which is helpful. It's picking up um, any mention of those. And I would def definitely include this on the profiles of the family. Oh, just not I wasn't not taking it off, but um, yeah. Okay, maybe I'll just ignore that for the source of thon and I'll work on that some other time. And... Right, right. And I know yeah. there's stuff on different ones on um, family search because I've gone through a couple of them. Um, mm -hmm. 
So you could and add it, other sources to those profiles for the source -thon and just not try to correct the whole book issue. Right. I mean, the, it, you, you should reference the book. There's no question that you should reference the book. Oh, right. Yeah. It's just that the, the book itself is not is not a source for um, a particular fact. Right. Right. But it so, does it, it does back up any other fact that you discover. Right. So so if 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 the book says something and you find a source that substantiates that. Then then the book is also a source, you know, it's a, it backs up your the source that you found. It corroborates. OK, yeah. so you're saying or not saying or what if I found a source for anything like the birth and the death found the um find a grave and everything like that and put it on it would count as in the source of sun or not huh now that's a good one so so um there's a lot of different opinions about whether you can use find a grave as a source for a birth and a death okay i wouldn't um, do just just one thing you know okay. i wouldn't do just find a grave if i found it in family search as a you know a census and stuff like that right so yeah, the, the the census records are very valuable, right? Mm -hmm. Because it it um, it connects a name with the time and place. Yeah, and the family. Yes, and the family. So, so sometimes that's all you have. You 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 just have a bunch of census records for family, and and you could you can say, well, yeah, we, we can you know we can demonstrate that this family existed. We don't have their birth dates. We don't have their death dates. We don't have their marriages. But here they are. Right, they're, they're recorded in the census over and over and over again. So yeah, I just ran Sorcerer on um, Louis' profile, yeah. and you know I'm seeing him in the Can Canadian census, 1881, um, and then I see he died in Minnesota. So eventually he would have. Um, we would, could look for some American re records. Um, yeah. It's, these may not all be your person, but. Um, right. Right. They're in different locations. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a whole family. So there's probably a million Louis. Right. And Ancestry also has sources for him. Yeah. I can't, I don't have Ancestry, but okay. yeah, if I went to, I could go to Family Search and fill out a lot of those. Okay. And a lot of those will have images by the looks of things so you can just check the image as well and make sure you've got the right family oh yeah yeah i'd go to the census and make sure that they match up with the rest of them. right right well <laughs> luckily the name rosalie is it's not like his wife was named mary which would mm -hmm. be <laughs> <laughs> unhelpful mary and john <laughs> yes right <laughs> okay Thank you. You're very welcome. Now I told everybody else what I'm going to do, so they'll do it first. Huh? <laughs> first of that. Um, I so, am Emily. Uh, yes, greetings. I saw Emily came in. Welcome. Um, and uh, we we're we're going to talk about one other question. But uh, Emily, do you want to just to, to, to save a few minutes? Do you have? Did you bring a question, a specific question for us? Me? Yes, Emily. Yes. No, I didn't bring any questions. I just wanted to listen. Okay. All right. No problem. Um, well, then, Karen, let's talk. Let's talk about what you were asking. And since you said it to us and not not when we were recording, do you mind uh, sort of reframe, restating, and reframing? Sure. Yeah. So, um, so my focus right now is transferring my tree from Ancestry to Wikitree. I still use, you know, Ancestry a lot um, because it's got a, a large database of other people. Um, I'm learning to use Family Search because the links to those sources are free for everybody. But um, I'm transferring things to Wikitree and in the process I'm doing kind of a do-over. My whole thing is that um, I also am I'm using legacy on my computer so that I have a copy of my research mm -hmm. on my computer. That's not, that doesn't require being online. Mm. My issue is the sources. Um, 
I'm struggling with sources because I've used Ancestry for so long. Writing sources is a, is a challenge for me. On Wikitree, I'm able to use the, um, the, the Sorcerer app. The, what do you call it? Sorcerer. Sorcerer. The Sorcerer. Yeah. And so that helps a lot on, on um, Wikitree. In, mm -hmm. and, but I'm struggling in legacy on writing the sources, even though there's a template there, understanding what all the little things are for. So I guess my question is, you know, what do other people do to have something on your computer in a software or whatever, how much do you add there in the way of sources? Do you just rely on the sources that you've put in Wikitree? Are you also documenting all your sources in your software? Kind of what are you what are you doing? Can I take this? Yes, go for or it. Least, go for it. Or at least start. Um, so so I have um I have an ancestry tree. Mm -hmm. Um I actually I have I have several ancestry trees. Mm -hmm. Um, I also have, um, uh, what's it called? Family tree maker. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I'm on, you know, my heritage and family tree DNA and, and Jed match. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a long time ago, I decided that it wasn't worth the effort for me to build out my trees on family tree DNA and my heritage. I would just put a basic, very basic tree there. Mm -hmm. so that I could be recognized, but otherwise I wasn't going to bother. Mm -hmm. um, with my family tree maker program, which, you, you know, with family tree maker, you're supposed to be able to um, sync it with your ancestry tree. Right. I have that okay. as well. Okay. And, um, and, and of course, then family tree maker had all kinds of problems with that whole syncing thing. Right. Yep. Yep. So, so I, I, <laughs> I, have, I haven't opened up family tree maker in probably a year. I'm not even bothering with it. Um, what I decided ultimately was I was going to work on ancestry so that I could, um, I, I basically keep two distinct trees for each branch of my family on, on ancestry. One of them is called what I call a matching tree. And so on my matching tree, I have my basic pedigree. And then I have um, people that I have a DNA match with and who's the connection I can prove. And okay. so I so I show that connection and that way other people on ancestry are able to use the tools, in, you know, to find, find connections. Okay. Separately, I keep a research tree and in my research tree, I can, you know, I can pretend that I'm related to Charlemagne and, and, and Jesus, right? Because, because nobody else can see it. Okay. Right. So I'm, I'm not fooling anybody. I'm not trying to trick anybody. I'm not trying to change anybody else's research. I'm just playing around with things, right? So, um, so that's my research tree. Now, what I decided was I wasn't going to try to manage all the sources in multiple locations. Once I committed to Wikitree, that was it. Mm -hmm. I'm on Wikitree. And I want to make sure that if there's a source available for any record, I'm going to record that on Wikitree. And that's the one that I'm trusting. Mm -hmm. And and the other ones I, I simply can't trust anymore. I mean, you saw what happened with Twenty Three and Me recently. Uh, family Tree DNA is stopping doing doing trees, right? Mm -hmm. um, yep. The my yeah, I'm on both of those. <laughs> yeah, my my heritage and family tree are in bed together. Um, <laughs> some you know there's there's just so much going on, mm -hmm. and yeah. so so just this is just my perspective on this. I have more faith in Wikitree than I do in any of the other sites. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm willing to, you know, just concentrate my sources on Wikitree. The other thing is that, um, you know, a lot of people poo poo the, the sources from ancestry, because, you know, if you don't have, if you don't have uh, an ancestry subscription, it's hard to find those sources, right? You can get an image of it, et cetera. Um, I, I guess I don't feel as strongly about that. My, my thinking is, as long as I can get a source in, right? I, I want to mm -hmm. make sure that this, this human being can be represented on Wikitree and that there are some sources. Mm -hmm. Now, later, I expect somebody else to come along and say, oh, these are crappy ancestry sources. We need to get some good family search sources in here. Okay. And then, and, and they'll do that. And that's fine. Yeah. Well, to me, that's fine. I mean, 
somebody's going to follow behind me, or maybe it's going to be me. Maybe I'm going to come back to it and, and, and do the family search sources. But the point is, the, the most important thing, I think, is we've got to get a record of any person who ever lived. That person has to be recorded somehow on Wikitree. And, and so if, if we're relying on sources that not everybody can see, well, at least we've got some sources. Some mm -hmm. people can see them. Some people can say, oh, yeah, I've got that. Uh, let me just check. And one of the beautiful things about Sourcer is if you, um, if you create a profile using an ancestry source, okay, mm -hmm. even while you're editing that source, you can then ask Sourcer, go find me this source on family search and it'll mm -hmm. go if it has it it'll yes. go find that same source yeah. right and so mm -hmm. you, you can then copy that source over into the into your profile oh, so part. yeah I'll, i do I'll... i do find that uh, that um i have run into several times where um ind individuals have used family search for their sources but they're linking to the profile not to the document and i find that frustrating but yes yeah. i understand what you're saying and i agree i agree with that so do you do you, do you use any software at all to keep a copy of your tree so like how do you run um any kind of reports for anybody if you have somebody in the family that doesn't have internet access or you're going to go on a trip and you want to know okay so who do i want to be looking at that i need more information on or whatever Right, so there are a number of tools under the tree apps. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, let me. Yeah, go for it, Marie. Screen share. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, I just got to go find myself. Can I say something? Um, I, yes. For my, I use Family Historian for my own family on my computer as a de my desktop one. I have got some other programs on on my computer as well but they're not my main ones they're ones that i've used in the past to try and sync things and whatever but i also use something called aura which is an online repository assistant which helps me to bring down um, the sources from places like uh, ancestry find my past any of uh, quite a few websites where there are um sources that i want to add into my desktop program but i have to write use it and i have to write things myself so it's not something that's really easy to do but um it is it's uh, it's a program and i'm sure there are people that are using it with legacy so it's written by somebody called john cardinal and he used to he wrote it in order to use it with um uh, another um uh, software called um, TMG, the Master Genealogist, which is no mm -hmm. longer available, I don't think, or it's or it's it's not being updated anyway. So yeah. yeah. Um, how how did you get here, Murray? So um, from any profile, let's mm -hmm. just go back. From any profile, there's the link Tree Apps. Yes. So we'll click mm -hmm. on Tree Apps. Okay. And you choose what view you want. So I chose CC7 views, but I could, um, let's see, I could do the uh, family group view. Not much of a family group there. Uh, the family timeline. And there are always... Um, and then tree, let's let me find one. There's a descendants list. Super tree. Mm -hmm. So there's all different kinds of reports under under uh, here. Um, this is maybe not is the there, best profile to have used. There's not any kind of a, like a geographical thing. Like if I'm going on vacation to Maryland and that's, I want to see. Oh, oh, that's that's the kind of thing I'm also looking for. That's that might be a WikiTree Plus. Yeah, WikiTree Two area. A WikiTree Plus maps is if you look the maps of your ancestors where they were born. They were, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna get one on her because that one because because it's too short. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I'm not getting anything on that one. 
Right. Give me it. May I go to another person? Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Anyway, there are there are a variety of reports that you can you can uh, save and print um, and or save to PDF files, etc. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's that's an issue. I mean, sometimes you're you are offline. I'm 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 not typically. Mm -hmm. Although the other the other night I was at a wedding party and and uh, I wanted to go look on my ancestry tree and I couldn't access it for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that can get annoying. Um, <laughs> but I I don't know. I guess I guess I. I've, uh, I just accept that limitation. Right. And I will now stop sharing. Um, I the, the I think, um, Murray and, and Hillary had excellent responses. I think the only other thing I would add, um, is not to get hung up on, creating the perfect site source citation um the really the you know we're not back in school where our english teacher is going to grade us on having every dot and um well as as some people mm -hmm. say it's a bit and bob in the right place the, the perfect source citation is so that anyone mm -hmm. including you can get back to the page that convinced you mm -hmm. um, of said fact um, so as long as it does that, then, you know, you're in good shape. Now, that said, there are some projects, like, for example, the Puritan Great Migration Project, mm -hmm. where they are very fussy about your citations. Okay. But, but one of the, again, one of the beauty things about Wikitree is if somebody doesn't like your citation, it's on them to fix it. Yeah. Right. And and I'm 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 doing better and I'm okay with my citations on WikiTree. It's really kind of more if I'm gonna use the software so that I can run the different kind of reports that I would like to be able to do. Sure. How much do I really need to do in the way of sourcing there? And so that's kind of what I'm I'm kind of struggling with that a little bit. Well, I mean it, But I like your, your answer. If you're what, just what, creating what, something that's available on Wikitree, do you really want, do you need both? It's up to you, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. End? Yeah, it, it, it depends how much you trust that Wikitree is, like, hopefully, is going to be around and and that's still going to be there and that nobody else is going to come along and remove the and source change it. you've got. Yeah. 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 And um, just, um, I'm thinking back, well, also in response to your question, Karen, and also um, tagging off of Sue's question, where we looked at the the book, the family history book. I mean, there are now marvelous tools online where it will you can input, um, you know, the information, this book, this page, and and say which style of citation you want. You know, I know WikiTree um, favors Chicago style. Um, citations and it will it will just create it for you you know the, the marvels of AI so. thank you yeah of that's helpful that's all help good um any other questions mm -hmm. Okay, so um, these uh, these sessions, we, we always have them on the second Thursday and the fourth Sunday of the month. And uh, so so as we're drawing uh, a little closer to the end of uh, end of the month, I'll get a post up in G2G. You're welcome, Sue. And what I'll also do is I'll just pop this link in the up oh, that's not what i want um in the chat and this is our free space page for this little community the new member zoom community and uh, i try and keep this up to date with upcoming um meeting dates the zoom links um as well as um the recordings um the, for instance the recording from today will probably be up by Tuesday or Wednesday on YouTube, so.
All right. And um, I encourage all of you, if you haven't signed up for uh, Sourceathon, uh, it's coming up October 4th through the 7th. You can still register. Um, and um, if you're new, if you've never done a thon, <laughs> you, can, you can sign up for the new team, uh, which is the new to WikiTree team. Um, we really, um, Murray and I and Dave Draper are co-captains, and the focus is on learning and gaining confidence um, and, and not on gathering points. So uh, lots of extra support. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. And um, we will see you next time. Bye now. Bye. Bye.